This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today a Christmas uh, toy that I received. Um, Sideswipe KO, of course, uh, from uh, Generation 1 KO. Looks really good. It's really hard to tell if it's a KO or not. Uh, you can tell by the position of the former under the trance. It should be a little further. Uh, to be an original box um, and I can't well I didn't really look for it but I can't find the uh, name of the KO company because uh, everything says the Karatomi and Asbro and everything so uh, the guts on these KO companies is uh, impressive I mean I guess uh, the copyright laws in China being uh, unexisting I guess <laughs> it gives you the right to or it, you know you have a lot more uh, guts to do things that you uh, normally wouldn't do uh, in other countries. So, eh. um, I wish I had a G1, uh, you know, an original, but uh, this scale will do. Uh, it's gonna look look nice on my shelf here with all of my sun streakers because that's uh, that's something of a little project of mine. I'm trying to get uh, you know uh, for each version of sun streaker I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to match it with a side swipe. And vice versa so looking forward to reviewing this guy and i already ordered the toy hacks decals for him because the uh, ko quality uh, labels are not that amazing or they're not amazing at all so uh, the moment i knew i had this guy i ordered the, the decals so i got them and i'll uh, i'll apply them uh, in this very review but before i do so make sure you check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something i'm very proud of and also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store, and that uh, you can get a 10% discount code at the end of the video. And now let's roll the intro. and side swipe. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, G1 uh, KO side swipe. And uh, the box quickly. Uh, I'm gonna keep this in my hand because we're gonna need it in a moment. Uh, it's a very good representation uh, reproduction of the G1 boxes. You know, this is what I recall seeing when I was a kid in stores. And then you have, and does it show well? Oh yeah, you can see his stats. So lots of courage and speed and intelligence, low rank, you know. You also have the, uh, the description, uh, tech specs and everything. So pretty cool. And then, you know, Mark, Wart, Mark Watts art. Um, check the review uh, I did on him uh, if you want to take a look and uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't get royalties for that but you know that's I guess the you know problem with KOs I don't own a lot of KOs just you know stuff I know I'm never going to be able to get that uh, an affordable price so. and uh, alright that's it for the box uh, you have the missiles which will go in the missile launcher and uh, it's uh, you know let's just do a test oh, there you go it works fine you have his gun uh, looking good standard uh, you know g1 gun uh, a bit of a mark here uh, I don't know it's not even paint don't know what that is but it's just brown so maybe it I don't know, cooked a little too much. I don't know. Uh, you have the, uh, well, labels. Okay, first of, hold on. The rub symbol doesn't work. Uh, neither did the, uh, um, any KOs, basically. Uh, you have to, I mean, you can see the, well, like maybe it does work. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's, but it's all messed up and doesn't look good at all. So I'm not gonna apply this. And neither will I apply these decals because they're 
from past experience uh, with the KO Sunstreaker, uh, these were crap. So I already have these guys here from Toy Hacks. Uh, just the sheet itself is thicker. And it's the same thing, except, you know, uh, used in a uh, more efficient space, I guess I could say that. Like, it's, you know, this is two sheets and this is just one. And it's gonna look uh, the same, just better. Yeah, that's that's my opinion. So that's gonna be fun. So let uh, well, actually, you know what? I'll before I present the figure, I'll apply this the the decals, and then I'll get back with sideswipe. My rocket pack now. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, so I'm back from the you know applying the decals, and uh, it looks really good. Honestly, Toy Hanks does great work. Um, He's fully accessorized. Um, the gun is loose in the hand. So that's a little disappointing. You can always put it here. It's a little tighter, but not by much. And then you have the shoulder cannon who pegs in uh, very nicely. I'm just gonna take it off to see you. This is the clip that goes over the, uh, the articulation. And it looks really good. Uh, I forgot I had the instructions. So basically it's this is basic instruction, you know, uh, shows you what you have and uh, a little bit of uh, the transformation. Uh, you know, it worked for us as kids. We had no problem doing this. And then they show you how to apply the decals. Uh, and uh, but the picture isn't uh, isn't clear. Um, it, so there's a the decal for the hands and the uh, the, the, the the waist. Um, had a hard time. I'm not even sure if I applied them properly. Like for the arm here, uh, there's this decal here, and then underneath here, um, I think that's where it pointed at. So, you know, it, it's it's. I'm, I'm hoping. You know, it looks good anyway, but it just I can't be 100 percent sure that's where it went. Uh, you have uh, the stickers for the toes, the shin crotch and then the ab under here you have the light the Autobot logo and I had two Lamborghini uh, decals I chose the golden one uh, to match what I have with my kingdom size white and then what else do you have for decals uh, well here uh, this I'm gonna remove this it's not the right shape uh, it's it, this fits perfectly this one doesn't so or maybe I applied it to the wrong spot that's also a possibility and then you have uh, the roof here uh, so it looks really good but you know I wish uh, I could get some decals for the windows because I love window decals uh, but uh, the figure itself it's very you know the nostalgia you know I get my fix this is a G1 sideswipe looks really good uh, low articulation you know the head because of the transformation and then you have the ferris wheel at the arm and that's it you no know, there's no waist there's no knees anything so it's just a very classic looking sideswipe so i love it honestly i never had this guy as a kid uh, i didn't have any of the uh, warriors i had mini bots and you know a couple of pretenders well one pretender and um, that's pretty much it i was more into masters of the universe so but uh, i like this guy so i'm gonna remove this stuff we're gonna do some quick comparison with G1 KO Red Bumblebee, which actually that's my first Transformer. I always thought it was the Yellow Bumblebee, but when I saw the, a picture of this guy, it kind of flooded back in. I'm like, no, I had a Red Bumblebee, and I was always wondering why is he red, and why does he, he doesn't have the same old as Cliff Jumper. So I, re but uh, you know, back then I was using the French name. But uh, so when I saw this guy on AliExpress, we just picked him up. Kingdom Sideswipe. And you'll notice that uh, my cannon matches the G1 sideswipe. Uh, and it's not uh, by choice. That's because the white cannon peg broke inside the slot. Because I let my five-year-old play with it. So he was devastated when he broke it. And I'm like, kid, it's just a peg. I took this one here and uh, put it there. But uh, stupid me, you know. Uh, I just decided to let him play with it. And uh, it happens. It's an accident. And Masterpiece Sideswipe. And uh, there's a huge difference between those two. 
and uh, but I, I do like the, uh, the the G1 toy a lot uh, but I'm actually impressed with this masterpiece KO uh, which uh, will be in uh, an upcoming review and I guess the most important comparison G1 KO Sunstreaker that's the reason I got Sideswipe I wanted him to go along with my Sunstreaker so they both look uh, great for uh, KOs and they're exactly what I would have expected back then when uh, if my mom bought me uh, one of these so that's it's a fantastic comparison but uh, let me remove Sunstreaker and do the uh, transformation. What about my paint? Don't worry, nobody will notice. Just make left turns. <laughs> and because I'm in a good mood and this isn't too complicated, we'll do the transformation on screen. So we're going to remove the cannon. Going to push the hands back in. And then you're going to push the head a little further. Tuck the toes in, squeeze the legs, come on there. This is tight, ah, it's maybe because of the decals, no, nope. no, nope, it's not that, it works perfectly. You know, push, hold on, lift this, push it down so that the window arrives here. And then you clip the hood underneath here, it looks like this. And then you want to put, well, maybe I shouldn't do it. Let's go like this, push it in, lift it back up, push it back in. And there you go. It doesn't clip super nice. And yeah, I'll definitely remove this decal. But it looks good. Rolls, eh, it's a little flimsy, but it looks nice. Uh, it's really good. I mean, the the transformation back then was simple. Uh, it was made for kids. I think now Asbro knows that it's not only going to be kids playing with these. Um, so that's why the new lines are a little more complex. But this back then was, you know, and it's die cast. It's heavy. Uh, back heavy, actually. <laughs> uh, and then I like the, uh, the decals, the headlight. Uh, the Lamborghini and the Autobot logo looks really good. The, you know, the roof with the black decals. Lots of robot junk. You have a little, uh, not dent, but a little bump to simulate a wiper. Uh, it looks good. Uh, wish, Still wish I could get some decals. Oh, I just noticed I'm missing paint. This is red. This is clear. Ah, well, that's what happens when you get a KO. Oh, well, too bad. It happens. And then at the back, you have the uh, tail lights and the uh, Countach. So it looks really good. The wheels are a little flimsy, but they do the work. All right, now for some size comparison. Let's uh, put him up with Kingdom Sideswipe. And, uh, well, that's what happens when you don't transform your figure a lot. You don't notice when stuff, you know, that pig I was telling you about, that my kid broke, you need it. You need it for the front end to peg back in. So now I'm going to have to play with this and find a way to dig it out. And that's going to be real fun. But yeah, live and learn. Learn from my mistake, people. And G1KO Sunstreaker. And you know what? I did not know this. I thought these guys in alt mode were the exact same mold. Because I never owned them. And they're not. They have the same paint, the windows are done, uh, you know, they have the same uh, model or the same look, but they're not, I mean, Sideswipe is a little larger and uh, a little longer. And they have very similar, uh, you know, details, but they're not the same mold. But I honestly thought, kid me really thought that this, or not just kid me, adult me really thought that when you put them in alt mode, they were the same. So that's why I was really happy with the, um, you know, the, the whole uh, Kingdom line and uh, Earthrise when both of these had very, very similar, uh, if not identical, alt mode. So, uh, but that's, you know, for cartoon accuracy. So. But yeah, uh, so there you go. That's uh, the, uh, the, the, the best comparison I can pull today. This is, uh, I love having these two uh, together. 
And now let's uh, put this uh, in robot mode for the final thoughts. And there we go for the final shot. This is my uh, G1-esque uh, collection. Sunstreaker, Sideswipe. Uh, this is, uh, these are KO, so is the Red Bumblebee. This is an original cliff jumper with a little Toy Hanks decal. Same thing with this original Bumblebee. This is a Hasbro reissue Bumblebee with cartoon accurate head. An original Slag, who's beaten but complete. And then this is the Ravage from the um, Covert Agent uh, exclusive uh, Hasbro Pulse uh, GameStop Canada. Uh, so, you know, it's a small uh, G1-esque uh, collection. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I only started collecting about three years ago. So most of my stuff is War for Cybertron, Studio Series 86, and Legacy. And with a couple third parties. So there you go. I'm really happy to add Sideswipe to my collection. He's a very new, great, great KO. Honestly, really happy to have this guy in my collection alongside Sunstreaker and the others. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review, guys. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.